watching CBS 2 News in high definition. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Luan. Lonnie Quinn is off tonight. I think he might have taken off on purpose because there's bad news to report on the weather front. You all know that we try to keep you informed of weather events that will affect your lives. I'm sorry to say that tonight, the weather news is not good. We've received word from the Weather Observatory in Hawaii that for the first time, the carbon dioxide content in the air has exceeded 400 parts per million. This has never happened before. Not in three million years. That's even before humans were around. Why is this such bad news? Because there's a direct correlation between increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and increased global warming. So what, you might ask? It would be nice to be a little warmer in the wintertime. Wrong. Climate scientists predict that the effects of continued global warming will be calamitous. They believe that if we go beyond 450 parts of carbon dioxide per million, which at our present rate we will reach in 25 years, there will be no turning back and we will be inevitably marching toward disaster. We need to act now in order to avoid catastrophic meteorological events. We all need to take four specific actions to steer clear of rising sea levels, storms of increasing severity, including blizzards, hurricanes, and tornadoes, disastrous fires and droughts, and loss of our ice caps. First, we need to conserve and cut down on our consumption of fossil fuel-generated energy. Second, we need to discourage fossil fuels with the adoption of a cap-and-trade system. Third, we need increased investment in clean, renewable energy, such as solar, wind, geothermal, and hydroelectric. Fourth, we need to conserve our forests and plant as many trees as possible to absorb the carbon dioxide. We must get going. Our fate hangs in the balance. This is Jeremy Luan reporting for CBS2 News. On behalf of Maurice, Christine, and the entire CBS News team, good night. You've been watching CBS2 News in high definition.